Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel. It says so on the mug, so it must be true. Um, I do weekly YouTube videos on this channel and I think today's video might attract some new viewers. So yeah, I don't recognize you and you and you should both press that subscribe button, but I also recognize you guys. You, the regulars are here, so uh, everybody's here. Great. Normally I prepare for these videos or at least I have a bunch of thoughts and ideas and scribbled notes and I know what I'm gonna talk about. But today um, there is one topic I want to talk about and I think I should talk about it. But I haven't really prepared anything. So um, let's just uh, first um, follow me and we'll walk over there. I walk over there and you, I'll magically place you. It will be fine. So, um, um, okay, uh, let me just, uh, let's just start with this. I think, I think this is what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, this is a good topic for today's video. I think, Apogee. So um, for those new to the channel, a, a very fast and quick recap. I've been making games since 2004, full-time solo game developer, doing graphics, code, everything. I've been working on residual since March 2020. Was it 20? Yeah, 2020. Um, did a Kickstarter for it, it was a success. It was um, fully funded and got in contact with a publisher and have been talking about that uh, in weekly videos on this channel without being able to mention the publisher, which has been extremely hard and difficult, but it's now finally uh, that point in time where I can just talk about it. Residual is being published by Apogee and um, so much stuff to talk about. Luckily, I have a great Discord channel, so make sure to check that out. And this morning, I just dropped a call for questions in the channel and a bunch of people got me a bunch of questions. So I'm just going to answer those questions in this video. and. Um, if there's anything left, either hop on the Discord, drop it in the comments below, or just uh, keep watching this channel because eventually everything does get answered. Well, not everything, but a lot. That's what this channel is for. So um, let's just dive in with the first couple of questions. All right, so I have a couple of questions um, from the Discord channel and um, a lot of people ask this question. So this is gonna be the first question because it's a great starting point. Uh, What's the process to search for a publisher? Did you approach them? Did they approach you? Was it luck? Um, I did a video on publishers a couple of weeks ago, months ago. So check out on the channel in the playlist, um, indie game dev stuff. There is some uh, publisher talk there on what's a good publisher and what's a bad publisher. So how I got in contact with Apogee is through a mutual friend who uh, saw my Kickstarter, who showed my Kickstarter around and uh, Apogee saw it and contacted me. So I guess um, it's part luck, but also uh, part uh, just having a huge network of people in weird places, I guess. But of course you can also just search for publishers and you can easily just identify games, check out who published it, contact those publishers. It's not that hard, but I often found when trying to contact publishers in the past that um, they are the great publishers are usually very small teams and they only take an X amount of games and that's a very low amount of games, maybe four to 10 games per year. Um, it's very hard to get in there and they usually work and keep working with the same developers. So some of those, so some of those game slots will already be taken by developers they work with previously. So um, you can contact publishers and I've done it many times in the past, but it's often very hard to just uh, actually get that connection and get to a point where it's all uh, settled and they will be publishing the game. So there are many ways to get in contact with a publisher, but um, in the end, there's always a little bit of luck and uh, a very good game, I think. So what things did you research before going with a publisher? Um, nothing for this game, at least. I was just very busy with the Kickstarter and trying to make that a successful campaign. So um, I wasn't researching publishers. This just happened to happen and they just contacted me like I just mentioned and of course when they did contact me uh, I knew who they were and I knew how they got to me through the mutual contact so um, 
I knew what to expect and after talking to them, um, yeah, it just felt very right and that's uh, how we ended up here. All right, uh, why did you decide to go with Apogee instead of the hundreds of other publishers out there? Um, gut feeling, mostly, it's really, um, I've been doing business like that for with as Orange Pixel for 17 years now and most of my decisions for bigger things or things like this have been um, for a big part gut feeling. Uh, it needs to feel right and uh, the communication I had with uh, mostly Scott at that time it just felt right and it wasn't as corporate and structured because I'm very allergic to things like that. I have talked to companies in the past and in different ways and for different things and not just publishers but also people from Amazon or Microsoft and as soon as they approach me in a very business-like way it just doesn't work for me. I'm allergic to that stuff. I think it's very fake and I rather have a personal one-on-one -on -one contact and, and a real contact with a company and Apogee provided that and for me that was just the best way to do it. Uh, that just works and um, so it felt right basically. Since you self-publish a lot what made you go with a publisher for this project? All right um I'm gonna get very serious on this one. Um, wasn't expecting to go there, but we're gonna go there anyway. Uh, this is behind the scenes of Game Developer. Um, in previous couple of years, I had Gunslug 3, uh, one of my games, and it kind of failed. A few years ago, I was I did some videos on it on the channel. Um, then I had a couple of other games, Space Guns 2, Snake Core, they did decent, but they didn't do the numbers I really needed to just make bigger games and make the games I really wanted to make. So our residual, I started on this game as, um, this is gonna be it, this is gonna be the game that is either uh, the last game I'm gonna be making, so it's gonna be the best game I can make, or it's gonna be the game that just does very, very well. Um, a publisher just helps a lot in that aspect. So um, yeah, the Kickstarter was the first step. It was a very low target, low goal I set for the Kickstarter, which would have just covered maybe two or three months of development. My hope was to get contacted by a publisher and then see where that ends. Uh, I actually got contacted by a couple of publishers and already uh, having worked with Apogee for the last couple of months, um, I'm at a position that I'm very comfortable and relaxed in my head. I know Residual will do uh, good enough, well enough, and I can already start working on my next game. I know there will be room and space for me to develop that game into something big. And if you've been with the channel for a while, you have seen last week's video where I already show you a bit of that game and we'll talk about that in the coming months. So. Um, the publisher just opened doors and made it um, easier for me to just keep making games. Can you talk about what they will be doing as a publisher for you and your project? Um, yeah, I can talk about that. Um, most of the things they do, or it all comes down to the fact that they give me more uh, peace of mind, pretty much. Uh, they are there to support me for all the stuff that I can't do or don't want to do or rather not do. So a few very simple examples. Um, we are now wrapping up localization, meaning the game gets translated into uh, 10 languages in total. Well, of course, English and Dutch are done by me. Uh, so eight extra languages from uh, Portuguese, Italian, French, German, Polish, uh, Japanese, and a few others I'm forgetting. But um, all that stuff I wouldn't have done myself because it just costs uh, money, pretty much. Um, we have also done some Q&A, an actual dedicated company has been playtesting the game for about two weeks non-stop every day, starting at the morning, ending at the afternoon, giving me all the bugs and problems they ran into. So uh, that just saves a lot of time on uh, bug fixing things and it makes the game much more stable when it releases. On top of that, we are now also working with a voice actor like triple A top of the bill uh, voice actor who is um, gonna give PDB the little robot as your side companion uh, he's gonna be having a voice and uh, all the dialogue and the fun stuff in there is gonna be voiced and it just adds a lot more to the game now all these things are uh, you can do them yourself as well but it's pretty much um, a matter of cost um, doing all these things hiring people to do these things cost money and if you're a solo developer um, pretty much every month I spend on the game uh, needs to make back money. If I have to pay a couple of thousand for whatever, a localization QA and all that stuff, that means I can either uh, work on the game a couple of months less or the game needs to make a couple of months extra revenue in order for me to get a profit out of the game. 
it's just a matter of cost and things like that um, are now dealt with by the publisher and handled by the publisher and they have a bigger network they have better connections um, they have more games so it's probably easier to get good deals with the localization companies and things like that or Q&A companies because we're going to be pushing a bunch of games to you guys can you give us a good deal I can't do that as one developer because I have one game now and the next game maybe next year but um, things like that are just now handled by the publisher and of course the marketing agency we have uh, they are watching I I see you uh, they're watching uh, they are handling all the PR and marketing and pushing the game uh, to the right sites and to the right streamers and things like that is all handled by uh, people that have dedicated their time to that as a business as a job and I'm a game developer I love writing code love doing graphics but I'm not a PR or business or marketing specialist uh, all that stuff requires a lot of time and you need to find connections and you need to make connections with journalists with game sites with streamers I don't have the time for that uh, I can do it with a couple here and there I know some streamers I know some websites but by the time my next game releases they probably forgot about me so um, having all those things now available makes it just a lot easier and it would be very weird if the game uh, does worse than when I do it on my own I hope that makes sense it does to me and that's the most important thing do you have plans to work with Apogee or other publishers in the future and do you have a contract to work with them for future games or is it game by game basis um, this is pretty much game by game basis I think that's very common with a publisher you um, I would actually tell you not to sign all your future games to a publisher because what if they don't deliver then you're stuck giving them all your future games so um, I wouldn't do that and I don't think that's very common in the business either and for the question of working with FG or other publishers uh, yeah of course I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, the cooperation with them I don't see it as a publisher developer relationship it's just more uh, we're working as a team and it's cooperation it's a partnership equal and um, all the other game developers are there uh, it's just a lot of fun and it just makes things a lot easier and besides all the business stuff they're all very creative and into games so there's a lot of feedback on game ideas it's up to me to do something with those ideas but so far all their ideas really match up with the ideas i have so um yeah, it's been great cooperation and i'm not against it on continuing that scott terry just putting it out there all right, so um, let's wrap this up. Final question or final two. Will the success of this game determine if working with this publisher will be the way you market your game in the future? Or do you plan on sticking to the Pascal does everything route? And will your previous game also be aided by a publisher? Um, the success of this game, I don't think that's the key factor for this. It's mostly uh, just the cooperation with them has been great. So I. I really enjoy it and I think it just um, removes a lot of stress on me when creating games. I, uh, Residual was probably the least stressful game I've been working on in the last couple of years because I know that uh, when it's done uh, they will be doing their best to make this a success and it's not, not all up to me. I can just focus on the next game and I'll focus on the final little things that need to be done for Residual. I'm actually already working on some stuff I want to push as an update eventually. So. Um, a lot of stuff and a lot of problems are relieved from me so um, is that correct English I think it is it's just a very good process so far so um, it doesn't so yeah it's not so much about the success of the results of this game financially but more uh, the cooperation has been a success and the partnership and, and just working with these guys so um, very hopeful for everything and previous games aided by the publisher no previous games are still my own games are already out there um, republishing something is not really a thing but of course if residual reaches a much wider audience than my normal games would have there's a big chance those people will also discover my other games on switch on pc on mobile on all the other consoles so um the success of residual might help my other games improve as well it might also make this channel grow even bigger uh, those are all uh, side effects of this partnership I guess so uh, we'll have to see how it all ends but of course if you subscribe to the channel follow the channel um, you're gonna be part of the ride um, but that's it for this week's video except for one thing I need to show you and um, a little secret that hasn't really been talked about anywhere just yet uh, let me turn the camera around 
All right, so um, this is of course the trailer for the game, the announcement trailer, it's on the channel, you should have seen it by now, but um, let's just uh, skip it a little bit, up to this point right here, uh, the logo comes in, and then a um, little thing called uh, Fall 2021, this, I want to talk about this thing right here, this, this big box big box artwork subject to change big big box yeah that's that's right um we're doing a big box release of the pc version of the game um there's gonna be some stuff in that big box i can't talk about it yet because well actually we haven't decided on everything yet but there's gonna be a collector's edition big box thingy so um save up some money for that it's not gonna be you know but save up some money because it's gonna be very worth it uh, once these are available and uh, I'll have one uh, I'll unbox it and show you on the channel this is gonna be uh, some months from now there's a lot of preparation going into this and a lot of stuff that needs to be sorted obviously but there will be a big box version of my game I can put it on the shelf <sighs> I just wanted to uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this one of the things they mentioned when we started talking about the deal was big box versions and I think that was really what pushed me over the line to agree with them. Let's do this. I want a big box version of my game. That's really the only thing I want. A big box version of Residual. All right. Um, I think that's really it for this week's video. Yeah. Do I have other? Well, I've talked about, I have talked about, but I haven't mentioned, I can't mention that just yet. All right. Um, for now, this is it. But there will be more videos talking about Residual. I, I might still have a few things that you, yeah, eventually there will be some updates. For now, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week talking about the next game. All right, bye.